in Homer Cotton. Um, welcome to you all. Congratulations with uh, number one, two, and three. Martin Cook, Stabler Point, and Robert Carnage. Um, I think we have to start with Martin. <laughs> You're the boss today. <laughs> um, tell us a bit about your two jumps. Because it, this was a bit difficult uh, day, but not un, uh, unusual for you as a jumper this season. No, we had a lot of, of competitions this season uh, with wind, uh, so we're used to it now. But it was uh, quite difficult. Uh, when you were at the top, you never knew uh, what, what will come. Uh, so you have to jump and look in the air. <laughs> but you had the best uh, trial jump and you won the competition. So I guess the best uh, jumper won then. Uh, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I know I'm in good shape. Uh, I have it. Uh, I have everything to win. But uh, as it was today, uh, conditions have to be good too, so I used it and I won. Yeah, you have been jumping since 19, 1908 in the, in the World Cup. Uh, you have, I think you have jumped 242 competitions or something in the World Cup. And this is your fourth victory and the first in a, in a big hill. Uh, how does it feel? Uh, amazing. Uh, I waited long for, for the, the first victory uh, I had last year in, in half. And I waited long uh, for the first victory on a, on, a, on a large hill. So it's a really good feeling, especially when you have your first victory in Holmecon. Um, how has it been to be uh, in, the, in the Austrian team these last years uh, as number three, four, uh, after Morgenstein, Schlieff and Schauwe? Uh, how has it been? Uh, quite okay. It was good for me, <laughs> as it looks. Uh, I uh, know everyone is doing a good job and you always have to, always have to work because uh, otherwise you're not in the team anymore. So it, it's good uh, for the performance and um, I'm not the guy who has to be in the media all the time. So the other guys uh, take this part very good for me and I can work uh, quietly. So it was good. Can you think of, uh, of any reasons why you uh, are getting better and better now after so many years? I guess it's the experience. I've uh, learned a lot uh, over the past years and uh, try to, to do it now. So it's a result of experience, I guess. Yeah. Have you done any, any uh, big changes or is it just uh, minor changes that's, uh, that helped? No, it's just uh, small changes, nothing big. Uh, here a little thing, there a little thing and uh, in addition it gets a big thing. Hmm. Uh, you have uh, Severin Freund and Robert Kangesh uh, on the both sides of you now. Are you, su are you surprised? Uh, no, they are really good champions. <laughs> uh, Robert is uh, world champion in ski flying. Um, so I'm not surprised. No, you shouldn't be. Uh, Severin, thank you. Um, oh, is it too short? Make? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you have the second place now. You have, uh, I think you have nine individual uh, uh, World Cup podiums uh, for the last two seasons. Uh, you really are on your way up to the top. How does it feel? Um, quite good. Um, um, last year was, was kind of a surprise. Um, I knew that I jumped good also in the summer, but to, to bring it to the winter is, is always a challenge. And it, it worked fantastic with um, two victories. Um, this year, up to now, I have no victory, but but quite some good results, and I'm I'm happy with this with this season. I guess this is it. This is very important for the for the German ski jumping that you are uh, able to to get on the podium uh, so many times now. Um, yeah, definitely. We we had uh, really some some hard years, um, one could say, um, and now last year with me, and this year also with Richard Freitag. We have two jumpers who can, can be on the podium and we also know that there's a lot of potential in the, in the whole team um, and we, we surprised at the ski flying championships where we won the silver medal in the team and I, I guess not many other teams would have thought of, of, of us um, being on the, on the podium and especially on the second position. So there's some things happening um, in the team and um, we will try um, everything to, to keep up um, with, with the other ones and to, to get better and better. Yeah. Have you got into a new regime or have you 
do you do something do you do things different or what's what's the reason why why are you coming yeah we had uh, a change in the with the trainers some years ago but um, since then it's it's just hard work and stay patient because um, um, with ski jumping it's if you if you want to do it now and if you want to do it today and, and can't wait for for some time to let things happen and to, to let things improve then it will um, uh, most likely not work um, and we we were patient we worked hard and, and finally we earned our share yeah you, you did a really good uh, second jump uh, <laughs> and i saw you uh, really celebrating afterwards uh, how did it feel um, yeah, very nice. I, I, had a, I had a really good jump um, yesterday in the trial round, in the first training round. Um, and uh, today, the, the, first, the trial round and the, the first round were not quite that good, but, but um, especially the, the first um, competition round was, was okay, really okay. Um, and in the second round um, happened the jump like you you, you can't expect um, these kind of, of jumps and you have to just let them happen and then it's <laughs> enjoyment from start to the end. Uh, Robert, Mr. Kramczyk. Yeah. How does it feel to be a world champion? Uh, nice. <laughs> really nice. How have you celebrated it uh, after the after week is in? Um, it was not time because um, I was two days at home and all the time we have something, television, the radio and other stuff. So uh, I start day at 8 a.m. and finish at 12 p.m. So it was a long day, but it was quite good. Um, now you're on the podium again. Uh, you're jumping a bit up and down, uh, but maybe do you have any reasons for it? Um, yeah, after Wickersund, um, this day which I was at home, I all the time was around, so I was a little bit tired when I came here, so I need a little bit time to, to refresh and everything, and now everything is perfect, and I do. They are really good uh, and I'm really happy with this third position. Yeah, because it's uh, your 12th podium in your career on World Cup. And you're also a veteran, you started in 98, 98 too. Uh, so you've been jumping for 14 years? Uh, really? Yeah. I, I don't know really. <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't feel what is important. <laughs> um, Tell me, tell me about the conditions uh, today. How did you feel jumping in Hong Kong? Um, yeah, it was difficult because um, you see uh, before you before you um, go on the hill, you see what kind of condition it is, and somebody have good, somebody don't. So it's it's hard. But when you're on on the gate, you have to you have to think just about yourself and, and jump and just wait. Hmm. Okay, um, are there any questions? No questions? Then we can uh, finish this last press conference for the Fizz Nordic World Cup Hong Kong 2012.